boxing the Monkey King um, match. Wait, did I say King? I meant Kid. Uh, I keep on getting this messed up. God. Anyway, it, on the front of the box, you can see that we have a really cool um, image of the mech itself. It looks fantastic. I love its design. It looks like a mech. And actually, it doesn't look like a mech. It honestly just looks like a giant, a giant like metal monkey, which is basically a mech, but it still looks like a monkey. Um, there's also a guy on a cloud. I haven't really seen the show, so. I don't know what all of this is. Maybe there's some stuff that are really funny that I don't know about. And pretty cool. This um, Monkey Kid is actually a new anime series. And it's actually different from any other anime series that Lego has done. It's more like this like comic, no, not comic book, but like animated style. It's not like 3D animation. It's like um, it's like a comic book. It's like a comic book. Everything's like drawn out pretty well. Um, yeah. On the back of the box, we can see that the giant weapon bamboo stick thing uh, can be uh, detached to make it smaller if you like. There's also um, a little uh, restaurant side build, which is a little funny. And the set comes with six minifigures. Comes with Jaya, uh, Anne, Monkey King, Monkey Kid, General General I, Ironclad, and Growl. Pretty cool set. Let's get building. Uh, 
some nice uh, like poster. It's like a video game here. And overall, a nice little um, building. We have like a fish restaurant, I'm guessing. And we have like some other room. And we have this little poster here. And a little garden. There's actually um, a little hidden secret. So with this tube right here, if you turn it, the window breaks out. <laughs> That's fun. Cool little uh, hidden feature. And overall, it's a it's a pretty good building. It has some nice details, um, a good design. Definitely a good build. And these two uh, separate halves actually could split to out together. They just hold on by two uh, tempo pins. And they just connect like that. Let's move on to the little jungle area. There's not much to say about the little jungle area, but it's a little jungle area. It has some nice love, like um, plant life here. A uh, nice growing tree, some nice uh, rocky details with some grass. And overall, pretty good. Let's go on to the uh, mini so first, we have this uh, civilian, he's holding a cupcake with a blue shirt with some nice front and back detail and grey pants with black hair. Second, secondly, um, we have a, another civilian, she is holding a fish with black hair, pink shirt and blue pants. Now let's move on to the bad guy. This bad guy right here has uh, grey horns, a gunmetal helmet, gunmetal grey helmet, and a nice little purple cape thing, a uh, nice uh, front and back armor design, a little shoulder armor with some spikes on it, with uh, gunmetal grey legs, and with a like orange energy blade. Now let's look on to the uh, bands there. Much smaller than the big boy right here. Uh, overall design, pretty good. We have like a little villain mech. This has like a gun shooter. You just have to tap and it'll shoot this orange thing. And overall design, pretty good. Uh, it has like a flag on the back. Leg articulation. You can't really make like a straight face unless you just push it back. But that would look weird. And he has pink horns. And you can open up the cockpit, and yeah. Overall, this mini build is quite good. Overall, all of this mini build, even if it was, if this set didn't have the Monkey King set, it would still be a good set because it has mini figures, has some villains, has a little play area, a little jungle area. <coughs> Detail. I, I just love this guy. Like, especially the head. 
It has it represents a monkey, but it looks like a robot monkey. So it's not trying to mimic any like realistic looks. It's actually meant to look like a robot. And I think this is based off the design of the Monkey King. Because you have the head right there and then the little red cape on the back. You can see the little red cape here. And you have his like little staff. I think this is a representation of the Monkey King himself. Um, his, his arm articulation, uh, not bad, but like you have his staff in the way, so you can't really get him into punching poses unless you take off the staff, of course. Um, the staff is connected by two ball joints. I mean, one ball joint right here, and the second one under this hand. And then you can just disguise it with the fingers. So it looks like he's actually holding it. Um, we have some nice like um, metallic detail on here. Uh, we have like some nice like horns, uh, cool armor pieces or like just fabric pieces. Um, the legs look pretty nice. Even has a its own little tail. Really flexible, you can really mess around with this. It's just. Look at that. Mid curl. And in the cockpit, you can open this whole entire section up and you can see the monkey kid. Monkey. Monkey kid. Right here. Has um, some nice detail, black hair with a with a red ribbon around his head, a uh, cool little t-shirt with some goggles. Let's put him back where he belongs. And put it right here. The cockpit feels really well, and you can see that he has a hole to look through. And really cool. The fabric of the um, red cape just feels so nice. Like, you could just feel it for hours and you wouldn't get bored. It just feels so good. And this sort of stuff is made out of a uh, little pin, center pin, uh, round pieces with the little tips. And then you have the round pieces up here. Then you have the little uh, golden painted wheels. Actually, I feel like this is like the most use in one set with this type of golden. Sure you have like the um, pearl golden, but this is like a pure golden, like spray painted or something. It looks like it's been spray painted, which I really like it. Uh, more use of, quite, uh, I wouldn't say rare, but like it doesn't appear in a lot of sets. It appears, but not much. So this is like the most usage of this time, which like I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, I feel like the fabric does cover up a lot, which I do like, because without this some um, extra fabric and uh, plastic details, it would honestly look pretty slim, and it wouldn't really look like it wouldn't really look good in my perspective. Um, the articulation on the hands, I guess you can do this. Which actually looks cool. Crack. Like uh, bashing someone in the air. And there's also some clicky clack joints here. Um, some elbow joints. I mean, yeah, elbow joints. And we even have finger joints. And we have a wrist joint. Um, same goes with the other hand. Uh, these flags, I'm not sure if they mean anything. Leave down in the comments below if you know what they mean. Um, the legs here look amazing. Nice golden detail with the golden going up, leading to the legs. And pretty good. Uh, the leg articulation can go full this back much and that. So you can do the split sort of. 
and uh, this has some nice foot articulation. You can see there. Pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't have any knee articulation. Um, that's pretty upsetting. But I can excuse that. This this mech looks so good. Like so good. And honestly, for two hundred dollars, this is worth it. This is worth it. I Monkey King is a new show. I mean, kid. Oh, why do I keep on getting that wrong? Uh, Monkey Kid is a new show. It's like a little animated. It's like comic book style. And I think it's a fun show, especially people who like anime. Um. Well. It's pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you in the next build. Bye.